Hey, dear Odoers, welcome back to a new video on SEPA Direct Debit. Not to be confused with the credit transfer, the SEPA Direct Debit allows us to withdraw directly from the customer's account. However, we need a direct debit mandate to do so. A mandate is simply an authorization from the customer to allow us to withdraw funds from their bank account. The advantage of this system is that we don't have to wait for our customer to pay us as we can withdraw the money directly from their bank account, making it more time efficient. Let's take a look at how to set it up in Odoo. In the accounting app, we'll go into configuration and settings. And here we can search for SEPA and we want to make sure to activate the SEPA direct debit option as well as input the credit identifier. Next, we need to create a SEPA direct debit mandate from the customer on the database. So we'll go into customers and direct debit mandate. We've already created ours, but let's go over the settings together. So we'll select here the customer for whom we have the mandate and enter the IBAN of their bank account. Then we need to select the journal that we want to use. And we need to make sure that on the journal, we have the bank account set up. We'll go back to the debit mandate. And the SDB scheme here, it depends on the type of customer. So you want to use B2B for B2B customers and core for your B2C customers. The identifier here is automatically created and assigned by Odoo, but you can create your own if you want to. You must add a start date, but you don't have to add an end date. And finally, if you manage multiple companies on this database, you want to select the company for which the mandate is relevant. As you can see, we always have the option to revoke the mandate if necessary. All right, let's go to our invoices. And sometimes the list of invoices can be a little bit long, so we're just going to filter by our SDD mandate. And now I think it's time to get paid. So we're going to select these related invoice and we will register the payment. Make sure that we have selected the correct journal so that we can use the SEPA direct debit payment method. Now, once these payments are created, we can select them and go to Actions, Create Batch Payment. And this will create a batch payment that we can then validate to create the XML export for the bank. So we have that in the chatter here. Now, if we go to our reconciliation view by going back to the main dashboard and reconcile, I don't need to reconcile items from a batch payment individually. I can go to the batch payments tab and you'll see right here, Odoo has suggested the counter match so we can validate that and it's ready to go. And what if the client doesn't have enough funds on their bank accounts? What happens? Good question. Well, the transaction will simply be declined by the bank, so there's no need to do anything on our end. So now we know how to set up and execute SEPA direct debit mandates. So that's all for this video. Don't forget to check out our video on SEPA credit transfer if you haven't already. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.